In this lecture, we are going to see how we can unlock read-only Excel files. Now in the first step, prepare a password protected Excel file. You can give a password to an Excel file by going to properties and in the security tab you can apply a password that limits modification. Now change the file extension to a zip file. Open the zip folder in Windows Explorer or WinRAR. Now look for the workbook.xml file in the Excel folder and open it in a text editor. Now search for the content file sharing and remove all contents within the tag. Now save the file separately with the same name and then drag it to the actual archive and replace the original file. Now let's see the attack in action. First of all, create an Excel file. Write some content in it. And click Save. Now while saving, go to Tools, General Options and give it a password to modify. Remember, this attack works only on the password to modify. We have already seen many attacks to crack the file opening password. Once saved, you can open the file and see that it's password locked. Now close it. Now change the extension of the file to zip. If you don't see your extensions, you can go to view and select the option to show file extensions. Now change the file extension to zip. Now we have a book 1.zip archive. Just right click the archive and open it with Windows Explorer. Now go to Excel folder. And here you can see a workbook.xml file. Now just drag it to your desktop and open it with the notepad. Now press Ctrl F and search for file sharing. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can remove sheet and workbook protection from Excel sheets. In the previous lectures, we have seen how we can crack Excel file passwords and how we can remove the read-only section. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can remove the protection from Excel sheets and the workbook protection. Let's first see how we can remove sheet protection. You can protect a sheet from the review tab in Excel. A protected sheet limits any modification in the sheet. Go to review tab and then select the option to protect sheet. Give it a password. Now change the file extension to zip. Open the zip folder in Windows Explorer or WinRAR. Now look for the sheet file in the worksheets folder and open it in the text editor. Now search for the content sheet protection and remove all contents within the given tags.
Save the file separately with the same name and then drag it to the actual archive and replace the original file. Now change back the file extension to xlsx file and your sheet protection will be removed. Now let's see how we can remove the workbook protection. You can protect a workbook from the review tab in Excel. A protected workbook limits any modification in the sheet structure. You cannot add or delete sheets. You cannot hide or unhide sheets. Go to the view tab and then select the option to protect workbook. Give it a password. Now change the file extension to zip. Open the zip folder in Windows Explorer or WinRAR. Look for the workbook.xml file in the Excel folder and open it in a text editor. Search for the content workbook protection and remove all the contents within the tags. Now save the file separately with the same name and then drag it to the actual archive and replace the original file. Now change back the file extension and your sheet protection will be removed. Now let's see the actual demonstration. First of all create a new sheet and write something in it. Now go to the view tab and click protect sheet. And give it a password. Now save the file. Ensure that you saved in XLSX format. Now to check whether our sheet has been protected, open the file and you can see that the sheet is locked. Now change the file extension to zip. Now right click it and open it with Windows Explorer. Now go to Excel folder, the sheets folder and you can see a file sheet2.xml. Now drag this file to the desktop. So open it with the text editor. And search for sheet protection. So remove all the content between sheet protection tags. Save the file and drag the file to the original folder. To change the file extension to Excel file, now open it and you can see that our sheet protection has been removed. Now to activate the workbook protection, you can go to the review tab and select workbook protection and give it a password. Now save it. Now once you open it, you will see that you cannot add or delete any sheet. You cannot also hide or unhide any sheet. Now close the file. Change the extension back to zip. Open it with Windows Explorer. Go to Excel folder. And here we have workbook.xml file. Drag the file to the desktop and look for workbook protection. Now remove all the content between workbook protection tags. Save it and drag the file to the original folder. So change the file extension back to Excel. Now open it and you can see that our workbook protection has been removed.
आई होप यू लाइक दिस लेक्चर एंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर